Oh my god! This is gonna be my beat now, you know. <laughs> you are you lot are foul for that one. Hi, I'm Raheem Sterling and this is versus Lost Files. <laughs> Me with my cheeky grin. Obviously brought the cup home for the lads, innit? Now I remember this day this was I think we were in Alperton. To be fair, first one that comes to mind is I want them braids back. But it was a good tournament. Produced on that day. <laughs> ah! Guys, <Okay>, bro. <laughs> Didn't have a scooby doo what was gonna hit me. Six slits in the eyebrows. Yeah, yeah. Confidence was way over the top. Yeah. But yeah, now nah, this is a pr proud moment. Obviously, always been a dream to try and get in like the England youth set up. Of course, it was more difficult to do so at like a, a QPR than because it was a centre of excellence. But that was like a big dream for me. I wanted to be someone from like Northwest London to be, be like, yeah, I'm, I'm up against the, the boys from like Arsenal. And we never really had anybody from my part of the way like at that level. So that was like my main motivation. And you know, I just remember going here, and it was the biggest moment for me ever. Yeah, this was top. Me with Joe Cole and Jamie Carragher. It's a sick pitch actually because, like I said, Joe Cole was probably the first winger I'd say like I started to like watch in detail because I remember like when he got called up for England, they wanted someone in that left wing position. Came in, done a job, and he was he was top. So after a bit, I started watching him more and more and more, and then obviously getting the opportunity to play with him. I got the chance to move to the one of the biggest football teams in the world. To go up there, new school, new people to, to meet, it was like something I was really looking forward to. Of course, it came with its disadvantages, like I don't get to see my mum and brothers and sisters every day, but just knowing the fact that I'll be up there playing football and learning was something that I couldn't turn on. You know, you, you push yourself, push yourself, and you know, I always try to, to challenge yourself, what's next? And that was kind of like, to say like, I'm not in a rude way, I'm here as a young player announcing myself on a bigger scale. You know, normally it's always at youth team level on the 21s, but this was now in the first team and then to get recognised as the best young player that year was, um, was top. Ah. <laughs> I knew you were going to get one of the trims out, I had to. I don't know what was going on, I was on the JLS vibes. <laughs> but yeah, nah, Dan, Studge, Studgy D is cold of it. The, the the dress sense he's he's cold with it. He's got his own little his own little style man. It's just you gotta create an environment which he tried to do with me all the time. If it was at Liverpool or at England, it was always a, a feel good factor, always laughing, smiling. Like it could be the biggest game and he's just clowning about, just you know what I mean? So of course I'm a person that actually likes to have a laugh anyway, but that showed me how how much of a good way it is to, to break the ice for young players and I think that's what um, Dan was trying to you know, do with me was make me feel as comfortable as possible to, to be able to flourish in, in those environments. He was someone that I really looked up to, um, someone that you know gave a lot of advice in, in that respect, but then someone that you would call a friend, you know, a, a good, honest individual that you can trust. You know, he's got a, a heart of gold and he, he wanted nothing but the best for me. He's someone that you know you've always got to respect and I always got to show show love to. Jeez. Fresh in it. If I'm correct, I think it was my 25th or 4th, one of the, one of the two. I think um, you put yourself under a lot of pressure to produce because of course you know the environment that you're in. Because you are, as I said, always away, playing, training. A lot of the times you just want to sit on a sofa and do nothing. But it's vital to, to have these these little memories that you can look, look back on. Very nice. You like the cane though? Jeez, land roll it, boss. Whoa, yo! Yeah, man. Sick picture. Fashion show. My bro, my, my, my friend, someone that always shows love, shows support whenever he can. He, turns up to matches and whatnot. 
in his QPR gear. Yeah, sick picture. My first collection for my brand, which was a, a, a nice turnout, nice event. Enjoyable there, can't I? I tried to stay away from the, the famous friends, but you know, it's good when you know you, you and other people share the same vision. And mine and his common interests together are a better Jamaica, a better way for younger versions of ourselves. That's his passion as well. So but I said, let me try and create something, um, a brand that is kind of unique to me, but also something that you have time to do other than football as well. And at this point when I created it, it was, it was that more so that I wanted to do was you know, have your hands in different pots and get a feel for different industries and like I said, grow as an individual. Yeah, the goat, bro. Uh, he made me this day as well. It was, my legs was closed. Like, he was just getting in mad pockets. Mad space. He was finding space that even though it was on the pitch, but he was, he was top this day, to be fair. Very, very good. Someone that you've watched growing up all these years, and then being able to share the same football field with them. Like, no matter how old you are, you still have that memory as a kid, but it was a, it was a great moment to be on a pitch, a field with him. Especially as I keep saying, because you've just been watching him for all these years before you as a professional. So it was top. I think those are the games that make the players, those um, bigger games when these sort of players are on the field. And I think that's where you ultimately make your name from. Whatever team he comes up against, big teams, big players, you know, his name is in the conversation because he affects that game. And I think that's what um, separates him from, you know, the rest of the players. It was, a, it was a good day, man. He made me, he got a one, he got a one meg on me. <laughs> not, I knew it. I'm not talking, that's not getting, that's not getting talked about. That's not getting, that's not getting talked about. But look, that's not, that, that was not even getting shown to the audience, bro. Leave me alone, bro. It's a long time ago. We're young, we're allowed to make mistakes. Well, basically what happened was, yeah, I was going away to pre-season, yeah, which is normally three to three weeks long. So I said, you know what, I need something to hold my hair. So all it was, that was just meant to get me through on the flight. It was meant to be the flight, when I get there, put my hand through it, get my gel, you know what I mean? Get my thing stripped. But then they caught me at the wrong, the next day, I'm not, remember, I was, I'm young, you know. Now, you know what, I'm talking about it, forget. Forget, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about it. So, remember, I'm young. I, I don't really know how the preseason works with the first team. So I'm not realising the cameras are on these as much. That is, every, yeah. We landed, and it's the, I think it's the first day of training. So we've got a do-rag on the plane, everything. I'm just making sure my team, because I said it's a couple of weeks, man. I've got no time to be getting a trim. I don't want to get a barber out there. I was just meant to do that and then put some little thing in it and brush it forward and then they caught me with the... The curl thing. <laughs> <laughs> you, lot, you lot are foul for that one. I'll tell you, I, do you know what I knew that was going to... I knew that was going to be in there, but cool. This still gets talking about to this today, bro. If you want to get one up on me in the changing room, you bring that up. Let's say if I've been I've been banter with someone all week and I'm cane in them. And they want to get one, they show this to everyone. Just go pass it around. Uh, to be fair, top day. Usually when I go to Jamaica, I don't really get to go out in a lot of public places in that large crowd and be in like communities and that. And this was a, a top moment. Like it was the first time I was really embraced. The first time I was actually really in that environment to know what the people of Jamaica feel about me. It was a, a great, humbling feeling. When you speak to a lot of the young boys that were there, how much of them are telling you how much you mean to them and was, that's definitely probably the best pitch you brought out from the two pals to be fair. It's kind of like what you do it for in a sense like when you're younger you wouldn't say you've done it for this but as you grow older and learn about life and understand certain things like these are the, the moments that you, you cherish most. Yeah I've never laughed so much like this day like some of the, some of the people in the crowd some of the comments that they were shouting out it was I said whenever I go back I have the most incredible time cheek to cheek smiles and just pure enjoyment and this was a a moment for me that 
will definitely like stick in them, stick in my, my mind for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Next in line, isn't it? This is um, my eldest son, and he's like I'd probably say like the f photocopy of me in every sense. When I see him, I see a lot of like young, uh, young version of me, and he's obsessed with football. So I know this is a day that till today he still talks about. It's it's a responsibility that. Like no other, you know, you want to provide an environment for them that you probably didn't when you were younger. As a parent, any parent in the world, that's what you try to try to do when you have kids. I'd definitely say the highlight of my my career to have all your family, all your friends, and your sons there. And then after the game, you score, and then you go and pick him up. I like, could have never envisioned that, but it's one that I would definitely cherish, and it's one that he's definitely proud of because he doesn't stop shining about it, but yeah. How was that? Yeah, man, blessed. Apart from the one you tried to stitch me up, <laughs> it was all blessed. Every part of your life, in every single one of these pictures, I can remember what my next step was as a footballer. I can identify then what became my main priorities, what became the true meaning of life for me. Football's always been that one thing, that one thing that you just put above everything else. And then in these pictures, I can see gradually that more and more, of course, with your football and you growing in football, it then becomes other things as you grow and you mature and understand that it all plays a collective part. And as a kid, football is the only thing now. You realise how important family and kids and all these things play into life and just well-being and happiness. It's been a a uh, great little um, montage of pictures to see. Hi, this is Raheem Sterling and this was Versus Lost Files.